We've become a culture that ignores people and looks the other way. Our homeless problem, especially in Los Angeles, is so large now that it's almost untenable. Los Angeles has the highest number of unsheltered people anywhere in the country, and clearly you can see that in Skid Row. There's a lot of suffering that goes on. If you're not ready to live in the streets, it gets pretty profound. For those individuals who have been largely isolated and alone, beginning to try to build a sense of community is one of the essential goals. Skid Row Housing Trust is a nonprofit organization. We have a portfolio of 26 permanent support housing properties, mostly here in downtown Los Angeles, where we house some of the most vulnerable men and women who've experienced homelessness. I think what makes us really stand out is our focus on design. All of the projects that we've done with the Housing Trust looks at trying to create a type of semi-public social space with in the building. The Star Apartments, from the beginning, meant to be as forward-thinking as possible. A very highly visible example of what solutions to homelessness can look like. I've known Mike for a long time, and this is really our first um, collaboration. The name of this project is The Six that we did for Mike, and that means that, in military terms, it means I've got your back. And really, Mike is The Six for homeless people. I think I was one of the first people who moved, who had keys, and I thought I, I thought I was dreaming. And I came in and looked, it was empty. I was like, whose house is this? They said, yours. I got a little radio, a microwave, a crock pot. What more can you ask for? They have everything contained in their own unit, but then we have multiple groups, and some groups are provided by us, the RSCs, and some groups we have outside people come in. What makes Good design is not what something looks like, but what it is like, meaning how you experience it. We have a ceramic group, garden group, yoga, the music jam, as you see. You know, I told you I was run over by a small pickup truck riding my bike. Well, things like these events, they help you recover. It took my breath away because I've been suffering for a number of years. Suffering for years. And uh, what are you gonna expect, you know? Breaking stereotypes of the homeless goes back to design. It says something. It says we care about you. It's really a matter of educating the community, getting community support so that people kind of understand this can actually be a community asset. We are in actually the base of one of our 26 properties of the New Pershing, and we use it as our monthly concert event, Trust and Sound. Design definitely can empower individual. If you ask Mike, he'll tell you that good design is part of the healing. A little bit like Frank Sinatra, if you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. No one has a bigger homeless crisis than we do here in Skid Row. I think it's absolutely a replicable model. All you need is the will to do it. These are our cities. Whatever we make here, whatever buildings we build here, they're part of the larger fabric that defines our cities.